Hey everyone, welcome back to Code of the Row. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the free for the month assets that are now available on the Unreal Engine Marketplace. And let's go ahead and just get right into it. Like, subscribe, comment below what you want to see next. And the first one we're going to be going over is the turn-based strategy RPG template. So you see I have this top-down looking character. I can talk. There's little UIs. I got a quest showing up on the top right. I have to go slay a vampire. Uh, there's a little shop here. So I'll go ahead and let's just buy a rod. Like so, and then let's see, do I have some sort of inventory? Okay, yeah, so I can equip this. That's actually pretty cool. Already comes with a little inventory, shows my stats here. Uh, I think these are my party members. So let's go ahead and check these out. There's passive enemies I can go ahead and battle, and now I can select them. Um... Okay, nice. Yeah, so I can place my, my characters like so, and I can go ahead and start the battle over here. And you'll see that there is combat animations playing and yeah it's just your typical rpg turn-based type game like so honestly pretty neatly done uh, the last few months have had some pretty bad assets but this if you're into some sort of turn-based type stuff like this uh this is actually not a bad pickup and yeah let's go ahead and check out the other stuff so next up on the list i want to look over the low poly nature lush and diverse environments by vertex rage studio and now upon launching the map, I'll have a third person character to just kind of run around and see this low poly map. Uh, I actually do like the way this looks. It is definitely very low poly. There's no animations on the plants and stuff, but it does give it a really cutesy low poly vibe. This is kind of giving me uh, overcooked vibes if you guys ever play that game. And yeah, I like the uh, amount of different assets there are. It says it comes with over 800 assets. I like how well the shading is. Oh my, wow, that lighting is actually kind of crazy. Uh, a little odd there. And yeah, the lighting is really intense on this map. I love the god rays. These look these look really nice. And next up on this list, we'll be going over the Slavic village. So let's go ahead. Oh wow, this is definitely from Shrek. That this has to be from Shrek, I swear. Now let's go over the Slavic village. So when I hit play, there's this like cute, there's a cute little hut here. And the swamp. Some nice lighting. A lot of particle effects. I like it. And the Shrek bathroom. Yep. This this is great. I love this. So I'm definitely going to be using this, just the bathroom. That's all I need. <laughs> and let's see if there's an inside. I'm sure there is. Okay, yeah, I see. I see a door open over there. Who made this house? What the? F Where's the door? This house has no doors. How am I supposed to get in? All right. Anyways, so this is what the inside looks like. Wait, yeah, it's actually built without any door. Wait, what? Am I blind? Oh, okay. Sure. The front door's at the back of the house. And then here is the snowy part in the daytime with a lot of uh a lot of structures very wooden very wooden looking like a winter western type mix and now let's go over the modular old town so uh yeah pretty nice looking asset i'm pretty i'm digging this this is giving me csgo vibes there's a lot of different types of structures and some foliage and you can see that it's all modular these are all single pieces compiled together and just a bunch of little assets and accessories that you can add around the map uh like barrels sandbags, individual strawberries, or and yeah, overall, pretty nice looking asset. I, I do like this one. And the last one we're going to be looking at is a customizable is the, the last one we'll, we'll be looking at is a customizable interaction plugin. And you just have to go to your plugins to enable this. And I'll click restart. And this is the example project you can download related to this plugin. So when I go over, you'll see these little widgets that show up and they'll be placed into the inventory examples. And these ones are hold in order to pick up these cubes get moved when I hold E on them. So that's pretty cool. They're physics simulated. And there's a door. Hold F to open it. Oh, nice. This looks pretty good. And that covers all the free for the month assets of, of September. Thanks for watching Code of the Rail. Like, subscribe, comment below what you want to see next. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.